Hi, I'm Amy Fox. This is This Week in Trans, and I'm from The Switch. Seriously. Still, still, what, this is like week five. I've been doing this for a month. Thank you. We are trying a new segment this week called Amy Explains. To lead off our Q&A, Sean Ledoux, one of our Facebook fans and notable Yukon human rights advocates, asks how when someone comes out as trans, they're not suddenly everyone's educator for all things trans. Sean, like many trans people, is tired of being asked questions. Awesome, so I will start our show about answering questions by answering a question about why answering questions sucks. Irony, it's, it's cool, right? This is a common problem. If you're discriminated against, at some point the world decides that it's your job to explain this to everyone at the drop of a hat. Like you've got a cyborg uplink in your brain to Wikipedia or something. And it happens a lot. Like I know trans people who've gone to job interviews and only got questions about their junk and where and how they pee, and it wasn't in a Russian hotel room with Donald Trump. So it's like the only two groups whose bathroom habits are subject to public discussion are trans people and bears. Not that kind of bear. But for many people, there are several problems with being asked questions. Problem one, for them, the answers that people are asking for are either painfully obvious or obviously painful. For many people, when they're asked, which washroom do you use? They answer, well, whichever one I think I won't get beaten up for using. And there's the issue of, is this a genuine question? Which I'll get to later. On the obvious side of things, to them it is obvious because they have to deal with this problem every day. And they wonder why more people don't know the answer because it's on Wikipedia, you can Google this, and there are YouTube channels dedicated to answering questions. Problem two, some things you just don't know. What causes people to be trans? I don't know. What's it like being a trans guy in Indonesia? Hard? Probably getting rained on a lot. Probably hard. What's the chemical formula for estradiol? An aromatized C18 steroid with hydroxyl groups at the three beta and 17 beta positions, obviously. A lot of these questions are really personal, like they're about your junk or how or where you pee. And they often come from total strangers. It's like, hello, oh, hi, are you trans? Uh, yes. What do you have in your pants? Um, I'm just here for the yard sale. Even if it's not obvious, sometimes it's still painful. Like, is traveling hard? Fuck yes. Do people really fire you for being trans? No, <laughs> we just like being unemployed. Do people really just attack you for being trans? Oh no, I never got people to sign my cast in elementary school, so now I'm just reliving the glory days. But there's one more problem that's tied into questions, and we're gonna get to that in our next video. And that's why we have this show. If people are asking you questions, if you have questions that you don't wanna answer, or if you have questions and aren't sure who to ask, post them here. Well, here and we will answer them and you can watch it or send them to a friend. Until then, if you want to see more of this, remember, like and subscribe and keep those questions coming. Until next time, I'm Amy Fox and that's been Amy Explains.